Some time ago, I made a video with the Forever Calm case, which I bought the metal case and noticed it wouldn't work good without a microphone adapter. So I purchased a separate attachment to attach to the case so that I can use the microphone adapter. After placing it and everything I realized that this is the case. I purchased the case and I purchased this separately. That's the microphone adapter and screwed it in. But after doing all that, coming to put my GoPro in the case, it wouldn't close. Simply because I have a screen protector on it. Now, I bought a screen protector to protect the screen. So I didn't want to take out the screen protector so it will be able to fit in here. And all how I try to press the GoPro in and put the door, it would peel off the screen protector. I bought this case because of the door. I bought a screen protector to protect the screen and the lens. So I didn't want to remove it, which it would be, it, it, the purpose of I getting the screen protector and buying this for the door and having to take out the screen protector or using this without the door deceived the purpose. You know, I was quite disappointed when I noticed that I would have to use this metal case without the door. I stayed there and think, I said to myself, since this is metal, I can make it work because I need it with the door. I need this to go out with instead of instead of the Ulanzi case. Now the Ulanzi is lighter, but it's plastic, you know. If the Ulanzi take a fall, the Ulanzi case take a fall, there is a possibility of it cracking. I don't know the material it's made out of. I don't know how thick or durable the material is, but I doesn't want to take a chance with the GoPro. The GoPro on its own has a little weight. This is light. That's one of the reasons why I got myself this metal case. If that take a fall, I know it will protect the GoPro. The GoPro is 
a bit heavy, putting it in this metal case makes it even heavier. But if the case fall with the GoPro in it, I'll feel confident. I'll feel satisfied. I won't be afraid. I don't I cannot find the right words for it. But I have confidence in the metal case. And using it without the back door. Just that. I will be removing that. I don't need that on that. Just that to hold a GoPro inside there. It's not safe. You know, it is not safe. You leave your GoPro unattended. Somebody come and fiddle with a screw and keep on tightening and tightening and tightening. Somebody that don't have any idea of the case, the GoPro or anything would keep on tightening and eventually put a dent in your GoPro. You know, so... When I stayed there, I said, I like playing with tools. I like trying to fix things. I took the door. I got myself a file. And I began filing the free ends of the door. I place the GoPro into the case. And I keep on filing and trying, filing and trying until eventually I got what I wanted. Easy as that. That's what I wanted. Now it has a little weight to it, but it is secure. I'm not afraid anymore for if it fall. Usually when they fall, they would fall on the edge. I don't think it would fall this way to shatter the screen. Usually it would go down this way or that way. You know, I'm satisfied with the forever calm case and the work I did on the door to get it. In. The only problem I find with this, it's true it has a stop here, but instead of taking out the door completely to put your GoPro in, you should be able to put it in without taking out this. You know, but as they say, you get what you paid for. I'll take a black marker and I'll pass it on the edges here so everything will blend in. Right now, here it is. That is for the line yard. I'll take out that because since I won't be using that, you put your line yard on that. That would keep on spinning, you know, and bram your GoPro folder. You do not know where it fall or if you hear it. Let me see that. If that fits in here.
yes that means you could put a a shoe mount right here you can put a shoe mount right there and you could always find another if you need the line yard you could find another spot for your line yard you could also remove your door here because it has a wide opening and you could please i won't be putting the the gopro mount because i want to be able to use that on a tripod so this is it I would have to do some work on these legs. Oh, here we go. This is it. So I'm not worried anymore if handling my. I had to wait for these microphone adopters for a while, but right now they are on Amazon, which I have two. I won't be taking out and changing, but leaving it in. You put it in this way. And when you take out the door, you connect. And this is the forever come case. Very handy, a bit heavy, but you know, you know you have something in your hand. You could feel that you have something in your hand you can change the lens the UV lens which I purchase some and it comes with A protector so this is it right now I'm quite satisfied with it the only thing is the mount is slack the adopter sorry is slack compared to this one it's tight but you know that you could also always put some tape or something around it so it would be able to fit in there firmly and not as slack as it is everything i show you 
here would be in the description don't forget that you could get this on amazon it's in stock now so you can get it i'll have all these things in the description below if you find this video was helpful please give me the thumbs up like and subscribe until the next one Better let go, uh, you decide if you're ever gonna let me know Yeah, suicide